Hello guys, Assalamualaikum and a very good evening. So today I'm going to talk about a very important analysis to confirm whether our material have a good compact layer or not. Okay, this is the example which is cyclic voltammetry. Cyclic voltammetry analysis in solar cell, disensitized solar cell, can determine whether our compact layer is a good, has a good blocking ability or not. This is the example from the other paper and also I got the example from my paper. So, <coughs> first, we look at how we're going to prepare the solution. So, as, as you can read here, a three electrode system was used to measure the cyclic photometry analysis in a solution containing 5 millimolar ferrocyanide and ferrocyanide in 0 0.1 molar KCl. So they got the scan rate is 25 millivolt per second. So what happened when we going to test our blocking ability of the material? If you study the recombination effect, uh, I already explained in the other the other video where the recombination effect they got three roads. The first recombination of electron of di with the uh, d plus the whole of time molecule. The second road is recombination with the electron of TiO2 with the redox electrolyte and last but not least this recombination between the FTO substrate our TCO transparent conductive oxide either FTO or ITO with the redox electrolyte so the third rows of recombination can be prevented by having a compact layer then by de developing a compact layer we can test our material is it our material capable to cover fully the surface of FTO to avoid unnecessary recombination or not. So as you can see, one of the tests is cyclic voltammetry. So cyclic voltammetry, you can use a potential stat, three electrode system, where we got the working electrode, we got the reference electrode, and also we got the counter electrode. So normally reference we go, we are using silver silver chloride. For the counter, we are using platinum wire and working electrode is our bare ITO and also bare ITO with compact layer. We want to compare the shape of CV. So the solution, we immerse our bare ITO or bare ITO with TI to compact layer in a solution containing 5 millimolar ferry ferro cyanide. So here what happens is you need a ferry ferro because you want to observe the redox peaks the oxidation peaks, the reduction peak we're going to observe and we must have the supporting electrolyte you can use KCL or whatever you can use so the ratio, you can see here ratio the supporting electrolyte must be 100 times higher than your uh, redox solution so you also have a scan rate 25 millivolt per second so by having the parameter done and also that so you can see that here you can get a result. This is from the other paper. Okay, this result shows what? This paper uh, compare about the bare FTO. You can see bare FTO and also compare with the main material. They got two main material where the GB 1.0 is the best performance. As you can see when they immerse uh, the solution using uh, ferry ferrocyanide in cyclic voltammetry, you can see that the main material depicts no appearance of anodic peak there is no anodic peak here as you can see for the basic this part is the uh, oxidation we call that anodic peak this was is the reduction we call that the cathodic peak so we focus on the oxidation process there is no anodic peak here indicating a good blocking ability so also from my paper you can see so from here also with a compact layer, the another peak, the there is no apparent of another peak or another peak is reduced compared with, with the bare ITO. You can see. So, so why why happen why this happen? So, why our main material with TiO to compact layer or whatever compact layer display a reduced anodic peak? Why? So because by having a low recombination low recombination process is a good good one we want to have a low recombination process by having lower energy peak or no apparent of energy peak is a good because basically we must uh, go into basic thing oxidation oxidation 
release an electron. So when happen here, you can see FTO, we use a cyclic voltammetry, what happened? There is more anodic peak here, oxidation occur because oxidation release an electron. So the electron of the FTO will recombine with the redox electrolyte. By having a compact layer, the re oxidation process reduces. You can see, less electron will recombine with the redox electrolyte that lead to low recombination effect. If you have a very good compact layer, you can totally deduct or totally reduce the recombination effect by having no electron release at all. No oxidation process occur at all. So, that's why we focus on the oxidation part. However, for the reduction part, we want the reduction part to occur. Why? Because when you see about the process of DSSC, the electron flow, right? When the photon struck the dye molecule, the dye molecule excited and move from one TiO2 to another TiO2 atom and move to the counter electron via external circuit. So, the electron must be accepted at the FTO or TCO, transparent conductive oxide. That's why the reduction must occur. It must accept the electron for the electron to move and transfer to the counter electron and back to the dye to complete the cycle. That's why we just focus on the oxidation peak. So it's quite simple actually. So for this also the same, we focus on the anodic part for the oxidation. That's why one of the important parameter when you are study, you studying the recombination effect is the cyclic photometry. So I teach you a very easy way. You want to test your material have a good blocking ability or not. You just uh, measure using cyclic photometry. You can use potential stat. In this case, we are using outer lab spectros, uh, spectrosmeter. We are using here outer lab potential stat PG. Uh, we equip with Nova software. So. If you want to be detailed about how the measurement is occur, you can see this paper. Okay. I think that's all for me. So, good luck for testing your uh, DSSC. Uh, here, you can use a three electron system. You don't, have, don't, you don't need to have a complete DSSC device. No need to sandwich them. Just use uh, the bare ITO or FTO and compare it with the bare FTO. ITO with compact layer. I think that's all. Thank you. So, hope your experiment success.